Have you seen people whose energy level basically crashed after 40? Or maybe you've heard from 40 plus that they gain weight from just looking at the food? What if I told you this one tip could increase your well-being tenfold? Well, think of this for a moment. We become older every year and our body changes. But do we change our diet, habits? Do we get prepared our body for the next level? Yes, that's right. Today, I will give you 12 simple tweaks you should do to your diet that can help you stay lean and healthy for life. In addition to that, I will close this video sharing with you my own secret to enjoy life after 40. Hi, I'm Dr. Irina. I've been a medical doctor for over 15 years. And what I've realized is that if you want to live long, healthy, and have minimal of aging, you need to do something different. Here is basic rules and whys. First, the most important rule is, if you are not hungry, you must not eat. No need, no food. We've all been there. How many times we eat just to have company or somebody ask you for a cup of coffee? It's never just a cup of coffee, right? Or all the family members are together and you must eat because everybody eats? Well, it's all about energy safe. Remember, after 40, the energy level is really low. So we eat five and a half pounds of food every day. And imagine this amount of food, this amount of weight your body needs to eliminate. Because in the reality, attention, we need as a body 0.11 pounds of nutrition, plus a little bit of vitamins, plus a little bit of uh, amino acids, plus a little bit of chlorophyll. But this is the rest of it your body needs to eliminate using energy. And you were not even hungry. So have we got this straight? Moreover, it's easier to digest when your diet is mono. Let me walk you through the whole process. So our body to digest the food needs five to six hours. So if you will eat before those hours, your next meal, it will lead to misdigestion, to obesity, to digestive problems and some other diseases. It's like you want to load your laundry when machine is still going with the previous one. So you just start the cycle over again. It's never stop process for your laundry machine. So what will happen to your machine? And our digestive system is more unique and more fragile system, not as a machine, how that will work. Listen to this. The capacity of stomach in adult is about two and a half ounces when empty and relaxed. It can expand to, to hold about one quart of food. Now you probably be wondering how much is enough. There is a golden rule about how much is enough to eat. It's when you eat, you still need to be a little bit hungry. So there is interesting thing. And the question that majority of people ask me is how to stop eating. You feel like you're banging your head against the wall, but in the reality, there is a simple explanation to that. Knowing the anatomy and physiology, and I will explain it to you. Usually our body didn't fulfill with what it needs from the food that we eat because there was nothing in the food we ate. This is how it works. Our eyes were made to bring impulses to digestion system to stimulate it from the brain. This is how it works. You look at the apple juice and your body gives the impulse. This is the vitamin C. I need the vitamin C. So you drink this apple juice or eat those apple something. 
and in the reality there was no vitamin c because it was concentrated or made from something even an ingredient it says it's not natural so your body end up did not receive any vitamin c and it's continue searching with your eyes and you continue eating does this sound familiar to you Number three, digestibility. We had the best digestibility when we were teenagers, when we can eat almost anything, like almost bricks and still feel wonderful, full of energy. Remember that age? But after 40, digestibility reduces up to 40%. It means that the food must be easier to digest. And guess what? It means less cooked, more raw. Admit it, you felt it. For example, after eating salad, how did you feel? Does this the same feeling as after you eat bread or dumplings or a hot dog or a sandwich? Think about this. Deepak Chopra even said that if the food was grounded to digest it, it needs just 40 minutes. There is the whole culture about raw diet. You can eat raw and live almost forever. Let's consider this. If you did not digest your food, your food will digest you. Scary, huh? If the previous one was too much for you, consider about the next one. It's the temperature you cook with. So it's better be less than 140. How to do it? Let me give you my example. You can soak your, your favorite porridge overnight and then in the morning you put it in just slightly warm oven for 15 minutes with a tablespoon of butter. Yummy! Next is the quality of food. You probably heard this uh, advice million times, but let's think about it. The more quality of food you eat, or let's just say, if your food is high quality, what does this mean? It consists of everything your body needs. Watch the cell code to find out what exactly your cell need to be healthy and, and to be reproductive. So if your food consists of less of those or nothing of those, you will eat more. So quality food, less amount of food you will eat. Next is a food structure. So it's about the ratio of amino acids, carbohydrates, vitamins, proteins. It needs to be in balance. Like in the nature, everything is in balance. You will lose energy if there will be no balance in your food. Let's not forget about seasonal food. What is the secret? Hot weather required cold food and the opposite in the winter. It's important. Do you want to know the best part? It's adequacy. Does your food in correspondence with your lifestyle? Let me ask you the question. If the person works at the computer and another one is a sport coach, does their diet supposed to be the same? But there is the more interesting part. Does your food in correspondence with nature? Let's see at, at animals just in the nature. Have you ever seen animals who ate a lot in the evening, like in front of TV, for example? Never happened, right? There is an interesting Russian saying I want to share with you. It sounds like Zaptrak, Siyash Sam, Abed Padilis Drugam, I Ujana Dai Vragu which means breakfast eat yourself lunch share with your friend and dinner give to your enemy i'm giving you something to think about my favorite is next is pause or fast must do after 40 at least once in a week or three times a week it doesn't mean that you must not eat nothing for example i do my detox program every six months and guess what i feel i can fly it's the best part of the year for me ask me if you uh, would like to know more famishment is the next for those who wants to be really serious once a week, just on water, 
but I want to warn you, you must consult with your doctor before doing it, and you'd better not to have any chronic diseases. Next, we call it ideology. It's why and how to eat. It's basically the process of how we are eating itself. We talked about it today a little bit that eyes are the main organ to bring impulses to our brain about the food we eat. So brain can synthesize those enzymes to digest your food. So if you are concentrated on the food, it will be normal process how it's supposed to be. But if you will be distracted of talking or watching TV, especially if those news or those talking are negative, it will lead to misdigestion. Last one, I'll give you something to think about yourself. It's compatibility of food. So the question is, do you eat to live or do you live to eat? To sum up, so what does this all mean? You realize and feel that with the time, your skin, vision, body, activeness, even life preferences changes. The logic here is you need to adjust. So take the next step and implement those 12 that I just told you in your life. Of course, if you want to be healthy, beautiful and young. Oh, and how I do it. I'll share with you my one little secret. It's about number three in this list we were talking today. Remember what was that? Digestibility. I have one trick I use about it. We've all done it. Going to the parties, the dinners with a family member when you must eat. But I prepare myself and my family to feel good and have the best digestibility no matter of what. And that's papaya. Make sure that it's natural, has no additives. I use it in a compressed form as a pills, just natural papaya. In this form, you can give it even to kids and use after each meal. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, I would love to hear your thoughts as well. Tell me. Love you. Bye.